Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at three read later services. One being Link Warden, two being uh, Wallabag, Wallabag IT, and three being the Obsidian Web Clipper in Omnivore going away. So we're just going to do a bit of a stream of consciousness. We're going to look at two articles uh, in these tools just to get an idea of how I've been using it for the last little bit and uh, what I think is good, what isn't great about it. Let's buckle up and do it. So these are two articles that we're going to save. We're going to save uh, something on New Shell by DevOps Toolbox. And we're going to save uh, Cal Newport versus Zettelkasten as well. So those are the two. So we're going to do that pretty easily by just going uh, Link Warden. And then we'll save. Now this lets you uh, come in here and select your tags if you want and change some options if you want. And I've set it up to unorganized as well. That's just like my inbox. Um, I also have Link Warden set to um, not allow me to save like a link two times. So if I already had this, it wouldn't uh, allow me to do it. So we can hit save. Got it saved it. Now Wallabag, similar idea, but you just saw that change. So you saw that Wallabag originally had the title and then opted out of the title. This is, we're gonna get back to Wallabag and why I don't love that part. Um, so it lets me enter tags again here. Uh, what's this? I can edit the title of the article if I want. So I gotta, again, interact with it to be able to do that. I can, what is it? Set article as archive, so mark as read essentially. Star it or trash it. We're just gonna let it be saved as it is. And you notice up in the top corner here that the Wallabag uh, icon has changed to green. And then we're going to go with the Obsidian Web Clipper. So some settings in here, which I've already done. Uh, this is a Firefox add-on, right? And I can change which vault it goes to. I change your language. Help. Uh, vault is main. That's just my only vault, really. There's some keyboard commands, Alt-Shift-O and Alt-Shift-H, which honestly I've actually never tried. So I should try that. Alt-Shift-O and Alt-Shift-H. So let's try. What were they? Alt-Shift-O is the clipper and H is the highlighter mode. Okay, so you can do two things there. You can actually highlight text and clip only that text, or you can um, uh, clip the whole one. So let's just go Alt Shift O. And that worked, great. And so then you can set some things in here as well. Uh, you can change the title, change your source. I could change the author if I wanted. Um, description, right? And it goes into tag of clippings and it goes into the clippings vault. That's again default. Um, and then it always pops Obsidian forward, even though it doesn't necessarily highlight the link to you. So it's up in here right now. So let's open it up as well. It was, uh, what was it? I was wrong about new shell. So that's a nice thing. Uh, by default, Obsidian is going to sort the last saved article, last interacted with article in the top of your search. So we can get in here and look at it. And you can already see a problem possibly here. So that's one. Let's do the other one. We're going to same process. We're going to save, right? I'm not going to do this. is just normally what I would do. Save it, save it, and add to Obsidian. Cool. So let's start by going to Link Warden. I'll open up Wallabag as well. I'll open it up in a tab. Open in new tab. That was a Zen feature. I'm using Zen, which is a part of Firefox or a fork of Firefox. So uh, you can see I can go to my unorganized folder and we'll start with, I was wrong about new shell. I click on that and it has saved it like this. So here's the problem. I get that they don't want to download the entire YouTube video, um, but I want to see the YouTube video right here. So this is like a canonical link where I have a copy uh, of the video or a copy of the source. So with text, this is more uh, realistic. And what happens, it actually saves a copy of the text, which we'll see in a minute. So I don't see that. Uh, now this is the setting I did. I did set it so that when I click on the link here, it takes me to uh, the source that um, Link Warden has saved. And there's three options really. Uh, how do we do that again? Because that didn't work. Uh, there was a way to choose which one I want right here maybe. Yeah, show link details. So we can show link details and it has a screenshot, a PDF and out to readable as well. So I can download those two, download the screenshot, preserve formats, and view the latest snapshot on archive.org. So this actually will send it to archive.org as well. Uh, I was having slowdown while archive.org was being um, attacked recently uh, and was losing, like, because it, it couldn't complete the archive uh, because archive.org was down for a month. It was, just took a long time to have these generating, and I just had, like, a spinner here waiting for it. Not the end of the world, not their fault, um, but still, I, it actually took me a while to figure out why it was doing that. So that's what it looks like uh, in 
uh, link board. And you can just go here, click, and it'll take me back to the original video right there. So that's good. In Wallabag, same one. Similar problem. And they have said the same thing. Right? I'm going to click on it, and it's going to... Nah, nothing. It doesn't show me anything. And uh, I assume Wallabag is in wherever this... I don't know what language this is, to be honest. So... I, I just want to see a video embed. I don't want them to download the whole video, but I want to see a video embed here. So I can go to the original fairly easily, right? Get back to the new shell one. Uh, and I can also, there's some some keyboard commands. Um, where did I find them? So I, I, can, I want the title. Let's see, I, think, I want the title. You can see all these YouTube links as I've been saving things over the last bit. No idea what they are. Uh, so all of bag keyboard commands. If we luck, use keyboard shortcuts. This is what I found. Like, there's some suggested keyboard shortcuts, and some of these actually, some of these suggestions actually work, and some of them don't. So, like, A for archive does work, um, but that's I honestly I've tried to waddle through this, and the only one I can remember and that actually is useful is A for archive. After that, I don't even know. And there's no documentation on it, right? If we look through here, uh, that's also GitHub. Right, there's a CLI, great. Console commands, great. But I want like actual uh, keyboard commands. So if we go to, was it wallabag.it? English, great. I want to find documentation. I configure wallabag. I found a website, not well displayed. How do I configure my smartphone? Change the language. Paywall. That's it. <laughs> That's my documentation. I don't have uh, you know keyboard commands or anything like that that I can see here, um, which I would like. Now, Link Warden also really doesn't have keyboard commands as well. Link Warden keyboard commands certainly none that I have found or interacted with. iOS shortcut, right? iOS shortcut, and that's just on iOS going to send it. That actually works fairly well. You just open up your um, shortcuts menu, and that's it. Send it to Link Warden. That's it. It's pretty easy. It works just like you'd expect any other shortcut to work. Let me go there and we can search. Uh, is there a search? Not even a search. Awesome. Usage. Overview. So they have decent documentation on Link Warden as well, right? I want to see a search here. <laughs> There's no, maybe yeah, no keyboard commands that I can find. It's okay documentation, but I would say. I have found the things I wanted, but again, no keyboard command. I actually just wrote a post today, uh, which will come out in my newsletter tomorrow, about an app called Godspeed. Let's just look it up. And it, you can see right here, it works. I've done this uh, on in my web browser. You can see, like, share list, command S, right? Control S on Linux. Like, it just shows you your keyboard shortcuts right in the app. I love that. Uh, I l I'm not sure if it's toggleable, but I would love uh, if it was toggleable. Toggleable. Uh, and honestly, Wallabag and Link Warden should have it. And so now we'll go to this right here. So again, you can see that uh, it's got like a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter, right? Not going to play that back. So basically, it's only saved. Like the rest of this is just a waste of my time. D. Uh, so those are Vim motions, if you're wondering, uh, is what I did. So what I can do here is I'm going to come in here. I can copy it, and then I have a snippet for YouTube. Oh, uh, sorry. Template. Template, insert template, YouTube embed, and then I can, because I copied out that string of text at the end, paste it in. So now I have the YouTube embed that I wanted at the beginning. I just I just want a YouTube embed. That's, that's it. I, it would not surprise me if there's a way to script this uh, so it would actually work. But it doesn't, and it should just work uh, on all of these out of the box by default it should just work but it doesn't okay so now let's look back at my other one so we'll start here uh oh right uh where is it cal newport versus zettel casting so this is just a straight up import uh, i pulled out the author so i assume they have the author tag by uh possibly the one that's compatible with mastodon i'm not actually sure how it pulls that but it does so that's good uh, it gives me the original link. I have the text here, right? I listen to the podcast. And what I would do normally is I'd go through uh, and I'd even uh, at the top or somewhere take notes. So I'd split my screen, split right, 
and I would just go here and go article notes. And then I can take my own notes here and at the top I do a summary. So I can do that. Now I would do that uh, whether I was reading it in Wallabag or in Link Warden as well. Um, so now let's look at the same article in Wallabag and the same article in Link Warden. So one of the things I love about Wallabag is it is very readable, right? So if I look at this compared to Link Warden, Link Warden, I don't love the paragraphs. <laughs> the justification isn't great. Like there needs to be a little more spacing between these. Uh, I find the readability in Link Warden worse than it is in Wallabag. Wallabag is much nicer. All right, and I could read through here. Normally in that case, I would actually split my screen like this, right? Uh, I'd have two, and this doesn't work. <laughs> I've minimized my screen greatly at like 200% uh, instead of 125. Normally I would have this at uh, or at 100% because this is a 4K screen. I've moved it down so that you can actually see what I'm screen casting. So this actually like is very usable normally. I can have two tabs open on this side easily and I can have an entire article and take notes. And I would do something similar, right? I would create the article. I'd put it into, when I'm done reading with an article, I'd put it into sources, uh, sorry, sources. Um, I just use a keyboard command there to activate the move uh, file to another folder, control alt M. So then if you use multi-platform, you can set like command uh, option M would work on Mac OS. Uh, so you have multiple keyboard commands to activate the same thing. You do that, oh, it was control comma I hit. And if you go into hotkeys, I can say move file, oh, move current file. So I can just set it by hitting plus right here as well. And that's how I do. I do again, the same thing. I'd write my notes and I wouldn't have a full copy of the article in there, but I'd write my notes and I'd write any thoughts and I'd break out any individual notes there. Uh, so it's essentially the same process. That's really it on the two. The link word and the readability is not great. Uh, it's far better in Wallabag. In fact, it's far better even in Obsidian because we actually have proper paragraph breaks. I think that they could do uh, some work on the readability over in Link Warden. That's really it. Um, so as for what I suggest at the moment, I don't actually have a good suggestion. I feel like they're all okay. Um, specifically with how they deal with YouTube. I'd love to see uh, either of these options, any of these options deal with YouTube better. If they could do that, then I, like if Wallabag could have a good YouTube uh, option, then I would probably just go with that. Um, if uh, I Obsidian did a, uh, sorry, dealt with YouTube while it just embedded the video for me, then that would probably be good as well. Again, it's likely I could script this in some fashion, so I might look into that. That's really it. Like, if you got a good option for a read it later service, uh, you know, preferably one that pulls an offline copy of the article so that I can see it later if I need to. So if the author changes it, I can actually look at it. That would be great. I did notice today Feedbin also has a bookmark glit when I was doing some writing. So I might also look at that uh, as we go forward just to see like how Feedbin handles the um, YouTube, all these other things. And that would just integrate right into my RSS feed uh, somehow. I'm not sure how it works yet because I haven't actually checked it out. But if you have options, I'd love to know about it. Uh, that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell, all that YouTube stuff. But the best way to support it is to go to curtismichael.ca slash membership. Become a member or curtismichael.ca slash education. Take a course. Have an awesome day.